came in on the flyer. What we got? Looks like Stafford's East Coast Task Force has been busy. Hey, Frankie Yale finally got a dose of his own medicine. Uh, Stafford's been predicting an untimely end for this mug for a while. Now, Frankie Yale outsmarted himself. Stealing his own delivery to Capone was a cute move once. Surprises me is that Yale thought Capone was so vulnerable. Ness. Elliot, it's Tim Stafford. Did you get my pouch? Nice work, Tim. You got him to slant that headline just the way we want it. The public back here is outraged over the violence. As per your request, we've turned up the heat all over the East Coast. In the last couple of days, we've hit a dozen Luciano distilleries and breweries, and he's not a happy paisan. That's great, Tim. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help. You bet. I'll see you. Stafford's a good man to have on our side. You know, Luciano and Lansky don't really approve of these Chicago-style executions. To them, it's an inefficient way of doing business. Exactly. And with the Atlantic City Conference coming up in a week, mob leaders from across the East Coast will be there. On top of that, our sources tell us that Capone is trying to cement his control over Florida. Ever since the peace conference in Chicago, he's been acting like Caesar. Aye. And we all know what happened to Caesar, don't we? We are making progress, gentlemen. And if we can keep the publicity focused, Lansky and Luciano might start blaming all their problems on Al Capone. Mr. Scalise! Hey! Mr. Scalise, can you tell us who paid your bail? Any comment on the case after nine months in the Yeah, the only place I was on St. Valentine's Day was giving a chocolate heart to my mom. This whole thing was cooked up to take the heat off the cops. You know they had to try and pin it on somebody. Are you going to name Capone as the man who ordered the massacre? I happen to know Al Capone. I know that he abhors violence and bloodshed. Now, if you excuse me. Fellas, some souvenirs from the Sunshine State, huh? Here you go, Miss Green. If you like them, I'll bring you over Bush in person, man. <laughs> Paul, I want a 24-hour tail on those two. After nine months in the slammer, maybe they'll go and do something really stupid. I think that shows a certain overconfidence on Snorky's part, eh? Greeting the, the prime suspect of the St. Valentine's Day massacre on the steps of the county courthouse as if he was taken to High Holy Mass. I'm open. <laughs> hey, listen now, uh, thanks for bailing us out, huh? Hey, what can you say to two guys who know how to keep their mouth shut? Well, I was gonna rat him out, but um, I couldn't face his mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why. You always made me feel like a proud pop. You know? Yeah, this is little boy Sammy from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> what you did, you showed a lot of courage and loyalty. And I don't forget that. You show my appreciation. I got a little surprise for you boys. Well, this ought to take a little edge off the jail time, huh? Go on, you bums, enjoy yourselves. I'm just glad I'm not those girls. The Capone trusts me completely. It's absolutely right. Um, no, no, I talked to him. No, I talked to him. Um, Mr. Luciano, you have my word for it. He'll never know what hit him. All right, John. Keep us informed. He knows what he's doing, Maya. He's a good kid. The biggest problem is about to disappear. 